Hi people, it's me again, Moreen Ovi Um In this video, I wanted to run by people what the difference exactly is when it comes to money, okay? Between being wealthy and, and having a lot of money because there is a difference, make no mistake about it. Wealth in a positive note or in a positive light is abundance as in specifically prosperity, financial abundance. Okay, it's wealth that has been acquired the legal, moral way and uh, <coughs> through hard work and efficiency or strong emphasis laid on a specific quality or a series of qualities and general versatility. So being versatile, being able to do multiple things at once and so on and so forth. That's also why wealth is not easy to attain. Okay, the reason that wealth isn't easy to attain is because through mundane means is because the world is filled with so many people so you're in direct competition with all of these people and if you don't do anything that's different from the rest you don't stand out and if you don't stand out you're not going to make more than the average person makes so that is simply to keep in mind because a lot of people get things confused okay they think that as long as you have money then it's all good etc no 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 there's a strong difference between being wealthy okay i for example am wealthy i am wealthy but <coughs> Um, that is simply the positive um, aspect of wealth. That is wealth, the definition of wealth itself. That's the definition of prosperity, the definition of abundance. And now the negative side, wealth acquired either through immoral or illegal means, either by screwing someone over, bluntly put, or simply by engaging in underhanded, sneaky tactics that, that um, are undeserved, to, be, to put it that way. That is wealth, that's not wealth, that's just having money, okay? And that's where the phrase money does not bring you happiness. Money is the root of all evil comes from. It's not about wealth, that's why the saying says money is the root of all evil, not wealth or prosperity or abundance is um, the root of all evil. That's why you have separate sayings, we live in prosperity, we aim at prosperity, we aim at abundance, okay? That is the positive aspect of um of materialism but the negative aspect of materialism is through greed and through means through immoral and illegal means wealth that has been acquired like that in that context is definitely something that you need to watch out for for example i have seen plenty of people that have i'm not planning but i've seen more than my fair share of people in my environment uh, over the course of my life that have money but that's just it, they have money, but the means by which they attain said money are anything but uh, decent and anything but, but that which makes them wealthy and or prosperous. And as a result, it's just that. These people have money, but the money means little to nothing. They spend their lives in pain and misery, anything from, from domestic violence, uh, you know, traitorous or treacherous family members. Guess what? Over all over money. Exactly. That's uh, all over money. That's the definition of the money is money is the root of all evil. It's about the fact that people are willing to do and commit the most heinous of acts in order to attain money itself. Keep in mind money, not wealth. To attain said money that pretty much taints it. Okay, and when I say it taints it, I mean it taints it in a spiritual manner. Keep in mind that this is a gray area. It's not all black and white. It's black and white for a good portion, but there are gray areas. You have some people that have money, and these people are moderately happy. They are doing, they're not doing great, but they're also not doing bad. They're not miserable. But in general, make no mistake. I have seen people, <coughs> for example, I've seen and I've known people that uh, have committed to, to that have resorted to occult uh, to occult measures in order to to attain a wealthy man for themselves or not wealthy or a man that has money <laughs> a man that has money to attain someone that has a lot of money someone that is materially rich okay and uh, they did so by immoral occult means and as a result they have money but they're not enjoying their money. They spend their lives in misery. They're miserable. They carry nothing but negative karmic baggage with them. Life is just nothing but pain and suffering. 
these kinds of people, you can't possibly expect happiness from them. You can expect contentment or similar. It's the same thing with, for example, someone that commits criminal acts in order to attain that money. For example, uh, a drug dealer or someone like that. Imagine what that's like, constantly having to look over your back to see if the police is on your tail or on your trail. Constantly having to be afraid that, for example, your partner in crime is going to betray you. There is no such thing as they say, as uh, honor amongst thieves. That's my point. All of this creates an incredibly spiritual, toxic... This just creates spiritual toxicity, uh, a spiritually toxic atmosphere or environment and energy in the air, which makes it so that you'll feel anxious and on edge almost all the time. You have to live underground. And by underground, obviously, I don't mean literally, but you have to live off the grid, as in not being able to do things the way a regular person does. You're not carefree. You can't say, hey, I'm uninhibited. I'm just flexible. I can just enjoy my money. I can just walk on the street and I can do whatever the hell I want. No, you constantly have to be on the lookout. That is my point exactly. But yeah, again, we live in a world where um, where a lot of people cannot be seen as people. They're, they can be only be described as vermin. And the same way that vermin isn't used to having food, the same way that sewer rats, for example, aren't used to having food, so they resort to constantly looking for food everywhere they can. The same way, you know, some people, quote-unquote people, simply don't care <coughs> they lack any kind of any any kind of attribute that gives them actual value such as self-worth and related and they'll resort as a direct result to whatever it takes to attain money but my point is I wanted to set the record straight okay there's a stark difference there is a world of difference between wealth prosperity abundance that is like that is the divine aspect of um, materialism Okay, of financial prosperity, of having money. That's basically good money, bluntly put and simply put. Bad money is the exact opposite. Money that has been acquired through sinful means. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to get all religious on people, but that is how money, money that's acquired through sinful means is not something you can be proud of. And people that generally speaking do so, in the, for example, in the examples that I just gave, are not people that are enjoying their so-called good fortune because they're not fortunate. They have money, but that is all that they have. It, um, it brings them no joy, no happiness, and nothing that, that can be construed as, uh, as value or having value. Uh, <coughs> yeah, and since I'm on the subject of money, I also wanted to set the record straight and discuss things briefly off the top of my head about, uh, about the phrase that money can buy happiness, which is true. Money cannot buy happiness. And again, I'm referring back to my previous topic, okay? Money in a positive way, so good money, can buy you happiness, okay? It can't literally buy you happiness, but it can buy you most of the things that fill you with contentment. And I've noticed that, obviously. Um, but bad money will be nothing but a burden. Bad money will bring you nothing but headache, and uh, it's like an addiction, you know? It's like drugs. You'll keep wanting more and more and more, and in your quest to want more, you keep falling deeper down. Uh, your life keeps downward spiraling, keeps going on a downward spiral, to the point where you hit rock bottom repeatedly. That is my point, okay? And uh, yeah, I, I can give so many examples. Uh, I'm going to give a simple example. Another simple example, I, knew, I know someone that uh, had a good job and that was doing well for uh, herself. I'm just going to change names and genders and whatnot. In any case, this individual was doing well for herself and uh, long story short, that woman committed fraud when it comes to working on the working floor. That woman, woman worked for an exchange office and she committed uh, fraud. And yeah, as a direct result, her entire life fell apart. You know, she was married, her marriage collapsed completely, obviously. She lost her children. She had three or four children. She lost all of them. Their children don't, her children don't want to see her anymore. And it just goes on and on and on. That is my example of greed. She made a lot of money. With, she made a decent living. Definitely an above average living. She made an above average income by working for that exchange office, currency exchange office. But no. Greed got the best of her. She couldn't handle dealing with so much money. So she just... 
couldn't resist and she embezzled and the authorities, you know, management caught up to her and she simply had to serve hard time in jail and she literally just ruined her life in the process. Now she, she has to struggle to get by, she has to hustle left and right, she has to do a bunch of things, a bunch of things just to make ends meet and yeah, her life is bluntly put just absolute shit. This is an example, see, money is the root of all evil. Okay, and not specifically money, money, bad money, bad money equals greed, that is the root of all evil. And when they say money can buy happiness, greed, bad money can buy happiness. Okay, prosperity, wealth and abundance can give you all these things. Okay, and despite the fact that uh, prosperity, wealth and abundance can, buy, like I just stated, can't uh, <coughs> buy you happiness directly. It can contribute immensely to a convenient life where you don't have to worry about stuff like uh, how you're going to pay the bills, how you're going to get by. Okay, money, good money, so prosperity, wealth and abundance. Wealth can give you, can make life very an existence very convenient for you. Uh, and as a direct result, that increases your level of happiness. Make no mistake about it. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Yes, good money can buy happiness, but not bad money. Bad money will buy you nothing but misery. And and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye.